So hello, I'm back again today, um, I guess to share a little bit more with you. Um, I know it's, it's not always easy coming up with <laughs> subjects to talk about. I know the last, the last one was about um, the, my marriage and relationships and the ending of my marriage and, and, and this, this, you know, how, how difficult it is to, to meet someone, you know. And um, right now I'm in a situation where I'm moving, or I'm, I'm being forced to move because of the, the current climate in Switzerland and in the world with COVID. Um, it makes financial situation more difficult. And here, the uh, renters are not protected under law. So if the owner wants to, they can just kick you out if you're late um, on a rent. So, of course, I have been late. I, I will admit it, you know. Not because I want to be late, I promise you that, but because of the current situation, my, uh, you know, where I work, a bit sketchy. The boss is sort of, have been a bit sketchy also. And this has caused some problems. And um, so, and because of that, um, we're all terminating uh, our positions there. But because of that, we're all about two months late on all of our, all our salaries and the government has come in and 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 here we're, we're quite lucky that in switzerland there's a really good um there's really good programs for that but they're always late and so i'm dealing with a an aggressive i mean he's not a bad guy he means well he's got a good heart but you know he just i guess he doesn't like me it's a bit of a he's a bit of a um uh, he's a bit anal retentive and um, he puts his nose in places he shouldn't do. So I've already been wanting to move out already for a while. Uh, the apartment's a bit small for me and my two cats. It's not that small, but, you know, if you really want to have friends over, this kind of stuff, you're sort of limited. I mean, I don't have the biggest rooms, this kind of stuff. So, I, you know, it's it, it was nice getting this apartment, and I have, I've enjoyed it. It's in a beautiful location, uh, a beautiful village. It's a Actually, it's a beautiful building, and he takes really good care of the gardens, this kind of stuff. But... Um, I'm just ready to um, to move on. So actually, today I I mean I've been looking at a lot of apartments and turning in paperwork to try to get into another apartment. So I'm looking at moving soon. I looked at one. It's a bit more funky modern, you know, but it's actually quite nice. Um, um, it's got a nice. Uh, it's got something I haven't enjoyed uh, for the past ten years. Sadly, it's going to have a nice balcony with the terrace on it, you know, so I can. If I were to get it, you know, it's one of the ones I'm looking at. You know, there's several of them. Not all of them are, are as nice as this or, or or set up so well as this. And this is only just right down the hill from me. It's very close. But um, hopefully, you know, um, I spoke to the to the to the, um, the, la the the lady. I've spoken to the rent the owner already, and I met her just by chance in the street. I was unloading boxes, and she, and she had her little granddaughter with a cute little blonde, and I was talking to her, and and um, I even put her up on my truck so she could see what was inside the truck. She wanted to see what was inside the back of my truck. And I was unloading cardboard boxes. And she asked me, you know, you know, who I was because I have a different accent here. I'm a different person. I'm, I'm taller than most people around here. I'm, I'm a bit, uh, um, I stick out a bit more, you know, I guess than most people do here. But uh, also I, I speak to people. I talk to them. I'm, I'm friendly with people, you know, and I think it's important to be that way. And, um, and you know, you, you, one of my rules, and I, I preach this to my kids and, I preach this to the others, and that is, you know, um, if you see something needs to be done, you do it, and you move on with life. You don't. You don't seek recognition for it. You know, and although I'm not going to spend too much time talking about my military career, I never sought recognition for anything. I'm one of those kind of people that even if they want to get when they want to promote you, just give it to me in a hand in my hand in an office. I'll move on with life. I'll put it on. I don't like. Um, that wrecking, I don't need that, that, that Vegas time, you know, that, that, that show time in front of other people. I never have needed that. I think it's important to do it for other people, but it's not for me. You know, when I was working with the scouting, you know, I made sure that if a boy got promoted or if a boy got an award or, or, uh, accomplished something that every other boy got to see it because we're striving to, to get them to, to want to do the same thing and to and to achieve the same the same goals, you know, but as an adult, I mean, I think you're you're bigger than that, and you don't need that recognition. 
It's like if you have a, you know, uh, my, my, my neighbors upstairs, they're, they're, they're retired. They're older people. And, and, the, and the, 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 um, they pull their garbage down because we can't put our garbage out the night before. We have to put it out early in the morning. So what I do is, well, we're not supposed to put it out the night before when it's, when it's light out. So what I do is because I stay up quite late, I'll get, go and, and I'll just collect their garbage bag and put it outside along with mine because I'm on my way anyway, you know. Um, but you do these things and for a long time, they couldn't figure out who had done it. <laughs> and finally they, they caught me doing it <laughs> and they you know, stuck their heads out the window one night when they heard me going outside. And, um, but I've always taught my kids that, you know, you don't seek recognition. You do what you, you do, what needs to be done and you move on with life and that should be enough. And, um, but there's some people out there who need, who need that. But anyway, getting back to what we were speaking about originally is that, you know, Sometimes you do a lot of good things for people, and even though they don't see it, they don't realize it, they don't recognize it, and it's just not it's not counted towards you, I guess, on 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 the earthly level. But you know, these things will be counted toward towards you on another level someday. You know, and I think that's what matters the most. I mean, someone who seeks recognition in life, you know, um, is a special character, and. That's that's just never been me. I don't need the pat on the back. I don't need the, the good job, you know. You you do it and and you move on, you know. And and I've always been that way even in my in my military career, you know. When it comes to wearing patches and that kind of stuff, I would just wear the basic stuff, and and I didn't need someone looking at my chest and you know, and uh, and that kind of stuff, you know. And 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 there are a lot of them that do it, and some units that requirement, but I was never one of those kind of guys, you know. But anyway, um, so I'm looking at mo looking at moving, um, and I have to do it within the next month, actually. So, but we'll see how that how that works out. You know, I put everything into the hands of God, and I'm a, a strong believer. And um, although my son's not a believer, because he questions it, I don't push it on him. I li I live my life the way I live it, and and I know that someday um, he will. Um, he may or may not, you know, find it himself, you know, I hope he does. And I believe that he will, you know, my daughter, she's in between, you know, I mean, I don't know if she's that strong, but I thought I knew, I knew that she believes, you know, and, um, but it's sometimes it takes things that happens in your life. And that's the thing over here. When I, when I was growing up in Louisiana, these things were all around you. I mean, you, you people spoke of God and spoke of belief and they testified normally. So for, for me growing up there, it was a normal thing to hear and see. And so when you're not around that, like we've been here in Europe, you just don't see it. People are much more, um, 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 they're, much, they're much more hidden, I would say, in their beliefs. And I can understand that because in, in Europe, um, and in America, but in Europe, it's, it's, been, um, it's been hell on wheels for, for Christians, you know, and within the, the religious groups, actually. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't have a religion anymore. I grew up Catholic and I grew up Protestant and I've, I have my first communion and I've been saved. I even got married in a Catholic church for my wife. And, but, um, it's these things that for me, I, I, you know, I don't need all that to, to find my, my, my place or my faith or, or how I believe or what I believe, you know, so I don't need all that, you know, for me, it's, it, that's all lights and whatever. And it's nice. It's good to come together. It's good to come together and it's good to, to, uh, rejoice together. It's good to, um, to learn together, um, and have that support, you know, but, um, you know, since I've been over here, except for the family level, you know, and, um, you know, it's just been me on my own, I guess, um, with my beliefs and doing what I do. But anyway, um, I want to thank you for, you know, um, watching my video and, um, and if you were, were to fall on it <laughs> because that's how you're going to probably have to find it. I'm not someone out looking to spread the word of anything, you know, I'm just, I've had a few requests to, to make videos and to speak on them about different subjects. And I'm looking for anything, you know, anybody wants to hear about, you know, I, I do have a lot of opinions. just like everybody else. And I think you should have opinion about things, you know, and you should, if you've got experience, you should try to help people with that experience. Although my experiences <laughs> haven't always been good, I got a lot of them. <laughs> anyway, thank you and um, have a good day. Uh, bye.